Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about Netflix and games. Why? Because yes, there are games now available on Netflix. Now, before y'all start to load it up on your TV and stuff, right now it's only on Android. Right now, there are only five games, and they're all Android. Um, iOS is supposed to be coming later, but the games are Stranger Things 1984, Stranger Things 3, the game, Shooting Hoops, Gar Card Blast, and Teeter Up. So, right now, it doesn't seem like they're going to be put, given a competition to actually, like, you know, to the actual consoles. But here's what I actually want to put out here. I don't know how long, I don't think it's going to be soon, but let's just say at some point, Netflix starts having AAA games on its platform and they don't charge any more. What I mean is that they don't charge you a separate fee for playing games as they do for their shows. They're just all bundled together, right? I could really imagine that hurting the consoles in a way. Let me explain. Let's say that Netflix gets the Battlefields and the Call of Duties and all those like big third-party games on their, I don't know exactly what to call, I'm going to say platform even though I'm not exactly sure if that's the proper thing to call Netflix there, but let's just say they get all those big AAA games on there, right? Imagine the play person that doesn't really play much first-party games. Let's say they only have a console to play like the Call of Duties or the Battlefields or those like third-party games, like even Fortnite and stuff like that, right? And let's face it, a lot of people have Netflix. I'm pretty sure a lot more people have subscriptions to Netflix than own game consoles, right? Not counting like PCs in general, but just the dedicated game consoles, right? So they, they may be like, wait a minute, I already have Netflix. All I really play games are like the th third-party games, so why would I get a console? I think Review Tech USA said that in the future it's just all going to be subscription based or something like that. And now that Netflix has games, even though this is very early, like very, very early, this could kind of be, I think, the start of what he was saying, like that in the future, no consoles, everything's just going to be basically subscription based. But I don't know. Uh, this may just end up being a bunch of mobile games or something like that and may never turn into any big time competition with the dedicated gaming consoles. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is like the start of something? Like Netflix may eventually get a bunch of AAA games and stuff on the platform and people may not buy like the Xboxes or the Playstations or even the Nintendo consoles and be just like, I'm also just play games on Netflix. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and God bless you all.